Hi, my name is Mattis Center of www.MotherEarthPrayers.org. We're here today to talk to you about prana, chi, or the life force. The life force sustains all of the plant, animal, and mineral kingdoms. Without it, we would die. It is critical to understand the movement of prana and what it is because it will help us understand what we are doing to Mother Earth and what needs to be done to heal her. Now, prana is all around us. It is part of the geomagnetic field that sounds, surrounds the Earth. If I say, which way is the Earth prana moving, you can see my dowsing rods are pointing in this direction. Now, the movement of prana is very similar to the movement of hot air in a home heating system. The furnace heats the air up, it is sent out through a duct, travels through a, through a duct into a room. In that room, it heats that room, makes us feel good, gives us vitality, and is then pulled into a cold air register and recycled back into the furnace. Similarly, prana descends from the heaven, comes into a duct, and is released in a 360 degree fashion. It goes all over. It is drawn to the closest earth chakra in the direction it is sent to. And an earth chakra, like a human chakra, has a spinning vortex that acts like a giant suction cup that pulls the prana towards it, like the cold air register. I have to go see the, the, our, our tape on earth chakra. And once it gets to the earth chakra, it is either recycled through the, sea, through the soil or through the heavens above. Now, the movement of prana is critical because without, when prana ceases to move, it begins to stagnate. It loses its vitality. The energy within it diminishes. It is very similar to a dead zone for your cell phone. It just doesn't work. And the movement of prana, if you know acupuncturists work with our body, they, they take and try to prevent blockages. And we'll be talking a lot about blockages that prevent the flow of prana, create stagnation for the human body and for Mother Earth to understand what we're doing for, the, for, this, for this planet. So that's something we will discuss at a later time. Now, prana, there are various types of prana in the air around us. Prana is all over. I can say which way is the earth prana moving, which way is the cosmic prana moving. My rods are pointing in those directions. Now, to understand the various types of prana, we have to understand or begin to take, take from the Hindu Vedanta that explains how God created the universe. God created the universe by taking consciousness and evolving it into, into energy and consciousness, energy and consciousness, and, and finally to there was each component is more energy, less consciousness, so there's nothing but pure energy. Pure energy is the physical planet, is the physical objects that we see. Now, the lowest form of prana in the ether, there are many in the subsoil various forms of energy or prana, but the lowest form is called, I call earth prana. And earth prana recycles through the earth. That's why I call it earth prana. It is the lowest prana that we absorb, but is also absorbed by the plant and animal kingdoms. Now, earth prana is what feng shui practitioners deal with because they are talking about prana that is malleable, that is influenced by objects, that is moved by the wind and the rain. Earth prana, because it is energy and has so little consciousness, is easily moved. For example, I put these stones on this, this op up here to show this. I say, which way is the earth prana moving? Now, my rods are pointing in this direction. As they point, as I go in this direction, you begin to see the rods divide and they come back together again. That is because the earth prana is influenced by these, by these stones. It's blocked. This movement is impeded. It has to go around. So that's something we have to be aware of when we deal with earth prana, and that's what feng shui practitioners do. Conversely, if I say, which way is the cosmic prana going? My rods are pointing in that direction. As I come over there, you begin to see that they're unimpeded. This cosmic prana is the sweet nectar of Mother Earth. We get it through meditation. We get it through prayer. It nurtures us and feeds us. It makes you feel so good. That's part of what happens when we do meditation. And we'll be talking a lot more, more about this and the vitality and the beauty that it brings to us. Anyway, that's it for our discussion today of prana, its movement, its importance. It is a building block for Mother Earth, and we have to understand how it works if, we are, if we're going to understand what we're doing to this planet and how we're going to heal her. God bless. Join us up here in upstate New York in Mother Earth's soul. Hope to see you soon. Heal the world.